Bethany at the Shelby Township Library here today to tell you about some of our cool new books. We have some picture books, the ones you could read before bedtime with your grown up. They have lots of fun pictures and really silly stories like this one called Battle of the Books by Melanie Ellsworth and illustrated by James Ray Sanchez. This is about all the books that live on a little boy named Josh's bookshelf in his room. And they're all battling, jostling for a good place on the shelf, hoping that he'll choose them to read at story time when he goes to bed. But oh no, Pirate Book fell off the shelf. Can they stop arguing long enough to save Pirate Book and see who will be chosen to be read at bedtime? Maybe the hero book who saves the Pirate Book will get read. We'll have to read the story to see which one Josh chooses and if they can save Pirate Book. Another fun new one we have is Penguin and Penelope by Selena Yoon. There are a lot of stories about this adorable little character, Penguin. Here's his newest adventure with Penelope the elephant. She's a little elephant that he finds stuck in the mud, so he rescues her and helps her try to find her family, and along the way they become friends. So if you like animals and sweet stories about nice friendships, here's a good book for you. And speaking of elephants, Here's a new nonfiction book we have. That's one that you can read to learn facts about animals like elephants or other animals. This one's called Do Baby Elephants Suck Their Trunks by Ben Lurwell, and illustrated by Katherine McEwen. This book teaches us all about how animals are a lot like people. Little baby elephants, for example, use their trunks just like you would use your fingers and hands to touch and explore things in the world. And sometimes they even suck on their trunk like a baby would suck on its thumb. And for our older friends who are reading chapter books, here's a new one by Alan Gratz called Two Degrees. And it has three different stories of kids facing climate disasters all around the world, whether it's hurricanes or wildfires. These three stories are somehow connected. There's only two degrees of separation between these kids and the fight that they're doing to save the world and help the climate on our earth. We hope that you'll come to the library soon to check out all of these great new stories and see what else we have that's new.